You remember that a couple of days ago I've published a video in which I play Oblivion in VR. Yes, the new Oblivion remastered in virtual reality using my Quest 3. I did it only a few hours after this game was released using UEVR. UEVR stands for Unreal Engine VR and it's a tool developed by the genius modder PreyDog that allows you to inject VR support into any Unreal Engine 4 or 5 games, which is Oblivion Remastered. But you can see in that first test video that when I was playing I didn't have the six degrees of freedom so I couldn't physically swing the swords and the shields in my hands they were just kind of in a stable position just like when you're playing uh, in a flat screen. Flat to VR models in just a matter of one day managed to create the profile that will allow the six degrees of freedom in VR while playing Oblivion Remastered and today's video will be about how to make that happen but before we get into it I would really appreciate it if you given this video a like and subscribe to this channel it helps Discoveryar grow and it helps its visibility so that more people see this content and I will be able to create even more useful content for you like this one. All right, if you're ready, let's go. First, you need to make sure that you bought Oblivion Remastered and you have it installed on your PC. In my case, I have it on Steam. I'll be using my Quest 3 and virtual desktop because I want to play wirelessly, but you can use uh, any other PC VR headset. Make sure you're connected to Steam VR and see your Steam VR home in your headset. Then you run Oblivion, which will start as a flat screen game. I have 4090 so my game runs on ultra but in preparation for this uh, just to play in VR and to be safe that the performance will be stable I will minimize this and uh, change the visual quality to medium so I recommend you do the same even if you have a pretty good graphics card. Okay now you're missing just one tool UEVR injector. You can get it from github there is a stable version and a nightly version. The stable version is the one that I used to make uh, my first video and it worked right out of the box. You download it and run it as administrator. Then click under inject and select Oblivion Remastered. Make sure that your runtime is set to OpenVR or OpenXR. I played with OpenVR and click inject. And when you put on your headset, you will uh, notice that your game will play in virtual reality, which is awesome, but you don't have the six degrees of freedom. To gain the control of physically wielding your weapons, like you can see right now, you'll need to do a couple of extra things, courtesy of the amazing modders at Flat2VR modding community. So to get that, you'll need to download not the stable, but the nightly version of UEVR from GitHub. And at the moment of this recording, it's a release number 1046. Next, you will need to download and install the new profile made specifically for the Six Degrees of Freedom in Oblivion Remastered. There's a separate one made for those of you playing on Steam and those playing on Game Pass. I will not be attaching these files to these videos because they're not mine to share, but you can get them if you join flat to vr Discord and uh, they are located under Unreal Engine VR. There's a pinned post in the Oblivion channel, so go there and find all your files there. So from there, you've downloaded the profile and what are you going to do with it? In the EU VR injector, remember the nightly release, click on open global directory, this button, and place this profile folder right here in this folder that opened. If you already have a folder called Oblivion here, you need to delete it and place here the folder that you downloaded from Discord. This is the main thing, but there are also some additional things that you can do to improve the performance. The moderate created a user script filled with different values that will help you optimize the game's performance. When you download the script, which is basically a notepad or a text document, you will need to place it inside your profile folder. So uh, this folder that you just downloaded. So again, you will click on open global directory, then open this Oblivion profile folder and drop the text file right there. Again, you can get this text file and the profile folder from the flat to vr Discord. There's also some other useful tips to improve your performance but in general that's it if you're using the nightly release of uevr and if you've placed the profile folder in the right place then when you click inject and put on your headset you're all set and if you haven't subscribed to disco vr just yet that now is a good time to do that because i have just taught you how to play oblivion remastered in vr with full swing motions and six degrees of freedom it's pretty amazing how fast this could be achieved by modders massive respect to the modders that 
that made this dream become a reality or a virtual reality. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.